Hi, in this video, we will solve three types of problems based on division algorithm of polynomials. So let's first see what does division algorithm of polynomials say. It says f of x is equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x. Now what is f of x? f of x is the given polynomial, g of x is the divisor, q of x is the quotient and r of x is equal to remainder. So just like division algorithm of integers, division algorithm of polynomials also is dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder which is given by f of x is equal to g of x into q of x plus r of x. So let's use this to solve our problems. Let's move on to first type. Let's see what our question says. Divide 2x cubed plus x squared minus 5x plus 2 by x minus 1. So f of x is equal to 2x cubed plus x squared minus 5x plus 2 and g of x is equal to x minus 1. We will solve this by long division method in which we will put our dividend over here. That means our polynomial will come here and our divisor will come over here as like this. Now, when we do the long division method, we take into consideration the first term of the polynomials. In this, the first term of the polynomial is 2x cubed and the first term of the divisor is x. So when we divide 2x cubed by x, we get 2x squared. We take this 2x squared as the first term of our quotient. Now by putting 2x squared over here, we will multiply it with our divisor. We will get 2x cubed minus 2x squared. Now subtracting this from our polynomial, we will get 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, which cancels out to give us 0. Whereas this minus 2x squared will become plus 2x squared because minus minus becomes plus. So x squared plus 2x squared gives us 3x squared. Then we will bring this minus 5x plus 2 down. So our expression becomes 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. Now the first term of this expression is 3x squared. So we will divide 3x squared by x and we will get 3x. Now multiplying 3x with x minus 1, we will get 3x squared minus 3x. Subtracting it from the expression, we will get 3x squared minus 3x squared, which gets cancelled out and we get a 0. Now, this minus 3x becomes plus 3x. So, minus 5x plus 3x gives us minus 2x. We will bring this 2 down, so we will get minus 2x plus 2. So the first term in this expression is minus 2x. So we will divide minus 2x by x and we will get minus 2. Multiplying minus 2 with the divisor x minus 1, we will get minus 2x plus 2. Subtracting it from our expression, minus minus becomes plus. This minus 2x becomes plus 2x because minus minus becomes plus. So minus 2x plus 2x cancel out to give us 0 and plus 2 becomes minus 2 which cancel out 2 to give us 0. Therefore the remainder of this particular division is 0. The quotient is 2x square plus 3x minus 2 and remainder is 0. So by the division algorithm of polynomials which is given by f of x is equal to g of x multiplied by q of x plus r of x. So dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Let's see if that is true in this case. Our divisor was x minus 1 and our quotient was 2x square plus 3x minus 2 and our remainder was 0. So our term becomes x minus 1 multiplied by 2x square plus 3x minus 2 plus 0. When we multiply x minus 1 
with 2x square plus 3x minus 2, we get 2x cube plus x square minus 5x plus 2. And we add our remainder which is 0. So our term becomes 2x square, our term becomes, our expression becomes 2x cube plus x square minus 5x plus 2 which is nothing but the dividend. Let's move on to the next question. The next question says divide 4x raised to 4 minus 2x cube minus 6x square plus x minus 5 by 2x square plus x minus 1. Let f of x be 4x raised to 4 minus 2x cube minus 6x square plus x minus 5 and g of x be 2x square plus x minus 1. By dividing it through long division method, we will write our dividend over here and our divisor over here, like this. Now the first term of our dividend is 4x raised to 4. So dividing it with the first term of our divisor which is 2x square, we get 2x square. 2x square is the first term of our quotient. We multiply it with our divisor and we get 4x raised to 4 plus 2x cubed minus 2x square. Now we subtract it, it from our polynomial. We get 4x raised to 4 minus 4x raised to 4 which gets cancelled out to give us 0. Now this plus 2x cubed becomes minus 2x cubed. So minus 2x cubed minus 2x cubed gives us minus 4x cubed. Whereas this minus 2x square becomes plus 2x square because minus minus is plus. So minus 6x square plus 2x square gives us minus 4x square. We will take this x minus 5 down. So our new expression becomes minus 4x cubed minus 4x square plus x minus 5. So the first term in our expression is minus 4x cubed which is divided by 2x square so we get minus 2x. So that becomes our second term of our quotient. Now multiplying minus 2x with 2x square plus x minus 1 we get minus 4x cubed minus 2x square plus 2x. Subtracting it from the first expression minus 4x cubed becomes plus 4x cubed. So minus 4x cubed plus 4x cubed they cancel out and give us 0. Now this minus 2x square becomes plus 2x square. So minus 4x square plus 2x square give us minus 2x square. And this plus 2x becomes minus 2x. So plus x minus 2x gives us minus x and we bring this minus 5 down. So our new expression becomes minus 2x square minus x minus 5. The first term of this expression is minus 2x square. So dividing this by the first term of our divisor which is 2x square we get minus 1. Now multiplying minus 1 with the entire divisor we get minus 2x square minus x plus 1. Subtracting it we get minus 2x square becomes plus 2x square. So minus 2x square plus 2x square cancel out. This minus x becomes plus x. So minus x plus x cancel out. And this plus 1 becomes minus 1. So minus 5 minus 1 gives us minus 6. So the quotient is 2x square minus 2x minus 1 whereas remainder is minus 6. By the division algorithm of polynomial, f of x is equal to g of x multiplied by q of x plus r of x. That is, dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Our divisor was 2x square minus x minus 1 and our quotient was 2x square minus 2x minus 1 and remainder was minus 6. Now, if we multiply our divisor with our quotient, that is 2x square minus x minus 1 with 2x square minus 2x minus 1, 
we get 4x raised to 4 minus 2x cubed minus 6x square plus x plus 1 and we bring this minus 6 down so the expression becomes 4x raised to 4 minus 2x cubed minus 6x square plus x plus 1 minus 6 which can be written as 4x raised to 4 minus 2x cubed minus 6x square plus x minus 5 which is our dividend. Let's move on to our next question. It says check whether x cubed minus 3x plus 1 is a factor of x raised to 5 minus 4x cubed plus x square plus 3x plus 1. Now please note that if a particular polynomial is a factor of another polynomial then when we divide the bigger polynomial by a smaller polynomial the remainder should always be zero. So if we have to check whether this is a factor of this particular polynomial we have to divide it by long division method and see if the remainder is zero. So let's check if the remainder is zero or not. So let f of x be x raised to 5 minus 4x cubed plus x square plus 3x plus 1 and g of x be x cubed minus 3x plus 1. When we divide it, we put our dividend over here and divisor over here like this. Now the first term is x raised to 5 and the first term of the divisor is x cubed. So dividing x raised to 5 by x cubed, we get x square. Multiplying x square with x cube minus 3x plus 1, we get x raised to 5 minus 3x cube plus x square. Subtracting it from our polynomial, x raised to 5 minus x raised to 5, which cancels out to give 0. Now this minus 3x cube minus minus becomes plus. So minus 4x cube plus 3x cube gives us minus x cube whereas this plus x square becomes minus x square so x square minus x square gives us 0. Now we will take this 3x plus 1 down or our new expression will be minus x square plus 3x plus 1. Our first term is minus x cube and the first term of our divisor is x cube. So dividing both we get minus 1. Multiplying minus 1 with the divisor we get minus x cube plus 3x minus 1. When we subtract this minus x cube becomes plus x cube. So minus x cube plus x cube cancel out to give us 0. Whereas this 3x becomes minus 3x. So 3x minus 3x cancel out to give us 0 and this minus 1 becomes plus 1. So plus 1 plus 1 gives us 2. So we have seen that the remainder is 2. So as the remainder is 2, x cubed minus 3x plus 1 is not a factor of x raised to 5 minus 4x cubed plus x square plus 3x plus 1. So now we know three types of problems based on division algorithm of a polynomial. If you want to see some more problems based on polynomials, please visit www.letstude.com.